To achieve this look, you will need 4 to 5 elastic hair ties. And the hair products that I'm using today are Ue Hair Oil and Kenra Working Wax. First, I'm going to apply the Ue Hair Oil. I apply all over my hair. This helps to create nice texture, so make sure to apply it from the roots to the end of your hair. Next, I'm using the Kenra Working Wax. The reason I prefer a working wax is that it's flexible and not too hard, which is perfect while you're styling. If you use a wax that's too stiff, it can hold the hair in place too early, making it difficult to style. So using a softer, more flexible wax gives you the freedom to shape your hair just the way you want. First, take the top part of your hair around the temple line and I use a zigzag pattern to section it towards the middle of the back of your head. The reason for a zigzag pattern is to prevent the visible hairline when you divide hair. Before you tie your hair, make sure to clip the bottom section to prevent it from getting tangled. Now, divide the top section into two using zigzag parting. Clip one side for now and let's work on the other side. Tie your hair with an elastic tie, then create a small hole above the tie and flip the hair through it. This creates a beautiful twisted effect. You don't have to curl your hair for this style, especially if your hair is like mine. But if you want more volume or texture, feel free to add some loose curl before you start. I recommend to use 1 and a quarter inches to 2 inches curling iron. Repeat the same process on the other side and make sure to tighten it well. You already notice a lot of texture on the surface, but to add even more, use the tips of your fingers to gently pull out small section of your hair. Next, take the hair around your ear line. This time, instead of taking the entire section of your hair in the back, only take a small sections from behind the ear. Tie them together and create twist by making a hole and pulling the hair through it. Once again, use your fingertips to pull some hair out for adding texture, and make sure to hold the hair tight while doing this. For the final step, grab the entire bottom section of your hair and create a ponytail. Divide the ponytail into two sections and create a twist by pulling the hair through from the bottom. This twisting motion is different from the previous one, giving it the updo unique look. Now, twist the ponytail and wrapping around to create a bun.
Secure it with a hair tie. If you have a fluffy hair tie like this, that would be great. But if it's not, don't worry about it. A regular hair tie will work just fine. Check the back to ensure no scalp is showing. If you notice any gaps, use bobby pins to cover them up. And that's it. You are all done. This is a super easy textured updo. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Our first hairstyle is going to be half up half down look. It's super simple and looks great on everyone. For this style, you need two elastic hair ties. I'm using clear ones, but feel free to use black, brown, or whatever color matches your hair best. First, leave some hair out at the front to frame your face. I prefer to cover my ears, so I'm leaving enough hair to do that too. Now, get the top section of your hair around the temple line. To keep things neat, you can clip the bottom section of your hair out of the way, so it prevents tangle your hair when you tie it. Now, take an elastic hair tie and make a ponytail with the top section. For a more messy and casual look, you can pull out some hair and then when you pull out the hair on the side, make sure you pull out towards the bottom. For now, clip the ponytail at the top and then let's move on to the bottom section. Take the clip out of the bottom section. And grab a small section of a hair like this much. You can clip the remaining hair at the bottom again to keep it from tangling. You can grab another elastic hair tie and this time instead of making regular ponytail we are going to create a knot at the end. Now, take off top ponytail and put your finger through the loop you just created. Pull the top ponytail through it. As you can see, the loop will naturally position itself vertical. Tighten and secure everything in place. Use your finger to comb it through and you are all done! A super easy, no bobby pin needed, half up half down style that's perfect for summer. It's cute and stylish and keep your hair out of your face. Before tying your hair, leave some strands around your face. This includes the hair at the front, temple, and a sideburn. Keeping these three sections will ensure a balanced look. Gather your hair. Gather all your hair into a low ponytail about 2-3 to three fingers width from the nape of your neck. Secure it with a hair tie. Move down about the length of your palm plus 2 fingers from the first hair tie and secure your hair again with another hair tie.
create a bun. Split the end of your hair into two sections and bring them underneath the first hair tie. Cross the ends over each other and tuck them under the bun. Tie the end of your hair together under the bun, making sure the ends are not visible. Tuck the tight section into the bun to finish the look. And there you have it, a chic and elegant low bun that's perfect for any occasion.